Okay, here we go. Uh, hello, welcome to uh, my own uh, uh number two for whatever period of time the game is going to. I don't know if I'm going to air it in a quarter of a week or a month or whatever, but either way, we can be second. I'm doing of the new band. <laughs> um, but I, I didn't. At the end of a previous vlog, I mentioned that I would. Actually, yeah, I did do that. Never mind. I, I watched most of them back to back. I'm just gonna. Yeah. Instead of watching one talking, watching one doing the VR portion of that, and the other one, I watched them at the back. You know, uh, mostly probably got it and had like a ton that came out the first one, and I feel like it'd be pointless to talk there. Anyway, anyway, first up is Picture Day, written by, I have it here because it's hard to remember, Valerie Bremen and Marja Ad Ryan. I think I'm a new writer, I've never seen it before. Um, <laughs> right, picture A, and the cup of code is a picture A at school, and Milo is trying to get, you know, his picture taken, because he's never had a good picture taken, ever, at least from school. And of course, Murphy Lock, way of that. Meanwhile, because he had a picture taken, because he seemed to be able to appear fully in picture, um, Chad and Mort believe he is a vampire, bitten by, uh, Draco. The two nigga vampire. And meanwhile, meanwhile, uh, the Cohen Cabinet is now at there. Yeah, they have been fighting Ray Kai to go on a Hawaiian vacation. Um, okay, it's really laggy on my end. The video with me, and I don't know if that coming across. When it's looking at it. It's really laggy. I mean, it's dull, but number don't show them going well. But, but hopefully, it doesn't come across in the actual video. But, um, anyway, so, um, you know, this one was quite a bit of fun. It's a very, it's a typical plot for the show, but you have to do something, moving all your way. But I think they did it in a pretty fun way. Going a little way, in fact, the picture good. But they go over, catch a length to get in the picture. It leads a lot of funny hijinks, I think. Uh, both think I'm kind of a fong in them, a background fong. I do not remember getting the fong. The background songs are trying to get a little link here, so like, some of the ones you can one I thought pretty memorable, but so far, none of them have been, like, that memorable, except maybe the other one, there's no way out. Um, but, oh well, um, yeah, uh, but Shannon Morton Kapot is my favorite part, because they get some pretty, they get some good chemistry, I like their paranoia, uh, let me get Gippy, the world fast and koala. <laughs> Uh, cool. uh that, that's funny. And the Conan Cap we do with him are good. As far as the Conan Cabs go, on the front line, they actually get recruited by, um, Mr. Block, a uh, great, great something, uh, grandson, you know, to be in a pig little group agency thing. We don't know, I don't know how any of it works. Um, I can move if my grandfather is living in current. You know, year when you're put to take place again. <laughs> I guess. Then, of course, he found out. It's complicated, but either way, they do work for him now. So, yeah. But the Code Counter spot is going to be moving slowly like it was in P1. But um, it works with the way of doing it because it's all out to have fun. Um, but, uh, the Code Counter is actually going to end up in Nepal, or Hawaii. Uh, uh, we're all. Big, uh, never mind. With a weird flag. I think I'm good to do music if you don't play do air. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. Well, a lot of it was really fun. I had no complaints. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, uh, get beat up the funniest to me, but then got a you know, good bit. Uh, yeah, I remember, I space should have done that to watch it be because I got my mind to call on the other episode because I don't want a lot more than <laughs> that. But, um, but sure, I'm still definitely, I have no complaint with it. It's a simple, fun plot. It does a lot of what you, but, yeah, we do what well, we you can with the premise, and, uh, the, the, the murder episode of the game, which is a premise, kind of like, look how much of that one. What am I, no! Okay, sorry about that, my mom opened it. I need to go to the no, that's annoying, get in, you know? But, um, but anyway, I never really know how much to get out for it. Um, uh, Amanda gets a few good bits again. She appears. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, like, all I have to pay for a picture today. Very simple upcut, but definitely very funny one with a lot of creep stuff going on. And again, the book we're having for bluffing is definitely interesting. It's, I'm curious to see where that going in that time of year. But anyway, I think I'll pick up a picture today. Let's talk about, um, um, like Agent DOG, but Agent and but found it out like DOG, so A G E N T. Uh, but yeah. Agent Dioji went by Jim Bernstein. That I remembered. Go, go, go look up. Go, we do deal with the whole thing that Dioji can animal. Go, of course. Yeah, they did joke about Carl Cover making fun of this, but now get a whole episode. Um, oh, I forgot. Picture today, Doom Church making a gank obligatory gameo. You know, really just reminder. Can you hear? It's not even like a scene, like a woman snowing, snowing out. It's just a line at the beginning and end. But here he gets a lot more to do. Picking out the star of the episode, do which we're looking at the OG and go, You remind me of someone I met the previous summer. And then we flash back to sometime in the summer, to during Vinny Verbal Cat, and Bicky find out about a time when the OG accidentally found himself, you know, in Perry Glare and mistaken for a for an agent D that was replacing Perry while he was on vacation that day. So he gets sent off to fight Dr. Doomsmart the fight, not knowing anything that's really going on. So, yeah, this is going to be a good episode, actually. I mean, I guess, Bo Carl? We get to appear. Um, Bonogan had a cameo on the Carl cover, Carl didn't. But Carl gets to be here. So, Bonogan and Carl appear and do a of course. Um, so, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, so, yeah. And doing it all over the episode. We had DOG going up against him the whole time. Which, uh, yeah, that did. Again, it's one thing to have a cross color, and it's also another thing to have doing you know, being a character floating in the background. But now that <laughs> you have an entire episode that dedicated to him, in a way, it just feels. I don't know. Again, one part of me is well, upset yeah, that I can't even let go of any of her, but at the same time, I brought all King with new content with new characters, it was definitely cool. And I did really enjoy the cup code, the probably more entertaining of the one from Watch Go Flower. Uh, the content is just a good one, you know. It's quite similar to Mr. Key Monitoring, where an animal that doesn't know what's going on essentially is making a vacation where they have to down do its work and do its work and defeat it just through the animal walking around and not knowing what to do for actually. Stopping him consciously, you know, um, got like a little bit rehash in the uh, mantra in that way. But coming with DOG, we do some fun stuff with it. Um, but come on, I like the Agent D he's replacing is like 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 a wolf coyote of some kind. Actually, it might very no no we can Agent D go and yeah put him in like a wolf. But um like that um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and he had got um of an American Canadian, which again means the mind side threat. <laughs> and the joke we do with him. But that's how we do Canada Canada joke right. <laughs> you know, so I'll get only fun stuff in this one. A light would joke where when Jewish was that flashback and dark on my look, uh, he could go, I would need for that part, but apparently that's when the story begins. <laughs> Yeah, new trunk definitely more tolerable. We I mean, guess when you make the call up code more tolerable in the cameo where it's like, okay, we get it, you can get it. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I like coming joke about Game and Carl. Um Yeah, that stuff that stuff fun. Uh the cup code is a pretty fun one because you can get you got a fun antic with D O V and new trunk and yeah, that. Um, not sure what the really is okay. Um, let's do at the end. I mean, I haven't been caught up with I guess they wanted, they could have done an like, agent EOG type thing at any point, but I guess they had a flashback. Jack Leak, if I do it for you know, okay, good now. You know, but I'd like to see him go get a new Nemecook, or even go get something like Rodney or something, I don't know. But, what we do here is so fun. Uh, between both of them were simple but very entertaining, you know, kind of funny moments, yeah.
get that for you know. Wish I could get more of it that kind of app go on. It gets string of both pairing we have one up code that had a fair bit going on and with the pong along we are one which is pure like filler and doesn't move anything. But I like that that for way we're going. Although that half hour which I'm going to watch after if it should, might have both epical B plot realm. I don't know. Either way, I enjoy both accounts a fair bit. Uh, the Age of Dioji a little more, but Pitch Trader had the problem of them not being able to let go of any of it, but oh well. No. But anyway, both fun up and I kind of like you for V-neck, like the pairing, which, um, which, um, have it here. Uh, I know one of them was, um, you know, um, uh, yeah, pain, okay, pain makes weight, yeah, I get pain, P-A-P-E, um, then we got wrong one, the guy has, I have to load up the, come on, Game night, okay. Uh, okay, game night and paint make way go for whatever for that one go back. 